Good evening, viewers. You are watching Master TV. I am your host, Ayaz Morris, and I welcome you to our uh, new episode of online session. And as you know that we conduct different session interviews and ideas to share the professional wisdom on various topic. And uh, today I'm excited to announce uh, one of the very uh, important topic and with very special guest on this subject. So as you know that uh, we discuss ideas, share wisdom and connect people from different across the border. And today we are about to discuss a very important topic and I'm happy and uh, glad and welcome and honored to share uh, one of our expert and today guest, Mr. F uh, Francisco Facini, Facchini, uh, for like from Italy. Uh, he is a journalist, content creator, and Mojo expert. So I'm so excited. I was following his uh, work for, from some time, and I few days back I approached to him, and uh, he uh, replied to my message. And we are honored. We invited him on our uh, show, and he accepted. And today we are officially. Uh, you know, with him on this very important subjects. So, uh, Francisco, thank you so much for your uh, time and accepting our invitation. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Good evening to you. Good, have a good day to all the people. I hope that uh, we'll have a good day, all the people that is watching uh, live and uh, that uh, it will be watching after uh, our our session, our chat and uh, I'm so pleased to be here and I'm so honored that you made me this invitation thank you very much accepting our invitation I'm glad I would like to know your journey and your passion uh, what drives you and motivate to become a journalist and then I would like to know the uh, the journalist uh, journalist context and the background and the situation in your country and then we will discuss about this evolution of mobile journalism and what brings that mobile journalism uh, into the traditional journalism and the journalists can learn and you know they transform their work and their you know organization what they are you know offering to the viewers first of all let me introduce myself but before introducing myself let me say that my english is terrible it's awful so i hope that uh, the people that is uh, watching will excuse my mistakes but uh, uh, during the chat i will get in confidence with the english vocabulary so it could be uh, nice uh, to to go into this journey uh, and avoid the, the mistakes that i will take uh, my journey my journey is uh, journey uh, of uh, an old guy that uh, dreamed uh, in his life uh, when he was uh, i mean 10 years old that he wondered to be a sport journalist and uh, the this dream uh, was realized uh, having a university degree like uh, everyone uh, in politics and then starting the career in a uh, in a point of the media industry evolution that was so peculiar because it was the point in which internet came in our life in the early 90s just more or less and so i decided uh, to touch different kinds of media uh, during my career uh, in order to understand the differences of the styles, of the ty typology, of the models, of the workflows in different kinds of media. I worked for a little radio, for a big radio, for a little TV, for a big TV, for a little newspaper, for a great newspaper, a, a big newspaper. I worked uh, around Italy and uh, my most important experiences were uh, being the sport, uh, uh, the sport uh, editor of a free press, well known all or, all around the world, that is called Metro. I worked for Corriere della Sera. I was uh, a commentator in Sky Italia uh, for the for the football matches, and uh, I had uh, an experience also in Eurosport International. Uh, during the uh, 1998 uh, World Cup in France. Uh, and then uh, I 
tried to grow up uh, becoming an entrepreneur. I founded uh, an agency uh, with uh, a peculiar skill. It, it was the first, the first agency, it's called the Ala News, uh, that in Italy used in these productions of videos mobile phones. It was the first. Uh, and uh, uh, this journey continued for four years and a half, and then I had to quit. I had to quit uh, because of problems with my associate, and you know, uh, it could happen. And uh, 2016 uh, was a peculiar year in my life because I lost my job, I had to quit my enterprise. Um, I was separated in my life. Uh, my father, my mother died, you know, uh, natural happenings in her life. But in one year, it was very strong to bear. And uh, so he, I was more or less 45. And all around uh, me, uh, there was only, you know, uh, destruction. Okay. And I had, uh, you know, a sort of crossroad. I had in my in in my front the possibility to continue to be a journalist as I used to be for twenty five years, or to change everything, uh, to look for the future, to look uh, for changement in the models, in the instruments that I used, in the platform that I that I wrote uh, on to or in which I publish videos, uh, I started to understand the, the social media, the social network world, and I started to uh, go deep inside the, the uh, discipline and the culture of mobile journalism. Uh, in which way? I started to study more or less books that were not written in Italian, and there were, I think, two or three books about uh, this item. In, at that time, I started to follow the conferences, like Mobile Journalism World Conference. Uh, I started to go around and know all the innovators that started to break the normal models, okay? And to produce videos and multimedia contents in a different way, with mobile devices, with iPhones, with uh, smartphones, with Android phones, with tablets, with iPads, and so on. And this community that was uh, a well-known community, a, a community that we are part of it, um, me and you, I ask, uh, it was uh, a, co a community that changed my life because I had the chance to uh, be back on business, uh, with a lot of less of costs because I had already my smartphone and I had to buy only two or three things like a good microphone to in order to start uh, producing uh, and then uh, uh, gave me the chance to rebuild my professionality okay I started to understand that journalism uh, was possible not only for traditional media, not only for newspapers, not only for TVs, not only in the classical way, but also in other platforms like social network. You can be a journalist writing or producing video or publishing video in a social network uh, for different type of clients because also enterprises need a different uh, type of communication, need not only marketing or commercial communication, but need a professional that are able to do information. I started to understand that one of the things that uh, was uh, that were um, uh, close to me was uh, training people because uh, uh, I think it's a couple of days that I that I uh, no yesterday I made a video uh, about the fact that a good journalist could be a good trainer because if you understand, for example, the skills that you need to be a good trainer to be a good teacher, you will find out the same skills that you need to have to be a good journalist. 
because the, the journalists made researches, the journalists, uh, the journalists studies, the journalists collect documents, the journalist creates supports and messages to let people that is in front of him understand clearly. The journalist can divulge, uh, can uh, publish, uh, can publish the, the, the content and arrive properly to all the kind of public that he has in front of him. So I became also a trainer doing little, little courses for a few colleagues and then bigger and then bigger and then bigger and bigger. And I started to divulge and to write on my blog, francescofacchini.it, uh, uh the the culture of mobile journalism and this came back to me with the good feedback because universities started to ask me come and teach for us the mobile journalism and the mobile content creation for uh, for our students and then my career uh, flew up uh, slowly but constantly because I was investing the time on the future of my professionality not continuing to be a journalist as you know the models that I had for 25 years uh, uh, wanted that I that I do my 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 job and then everything happened because uh, I I grew up and I gained more money, and the next year, again, more money. Um, uh, the business opened, and I started to be something like a point of reference of mobile journalism. And I started to uh, draw my professional uh, skills um, uh, com uh, in uh, oh, oh, on to the uh, innovation and the evolution of journalism. This is to say that I started to do, to uh, uh, um, to um, learn um, HTML. I started to build sites, internet sites. I started to be an expert to producing content for social platforms. I started to be. Uh, a lot of kind of different figures in in uh, in one, okay. And then uh, I wrote a book about the professional uh, use of smartphone. And in 2022, something special happened, and and I finished uh, the the uh, the highest uh, authorities of uh, the world of journalism in Italy asked me to uh, deploy and produce two video courses that were put it on the uh, mandatory training uh, uh, platform for journalists in Italy. And those two courses, one about self-entrepreneurship, because I am a self-entrepreneur, and the second about mobile journalism, were seen and attended by, listen, I asked, 27,000 colleagues. This is to say half the journalistic population in Italy. And then I became a sort of a star Amazing. inside my market. A star inside my market. Because I had the great honor and the great chance to multiply the possibility of uh, divulge uh, and uh, share the culture of mobile journalism to thousands of colleagues. Thousands. It's a, a huge number. Um, um, it's more or less 45 to 50% of active journalists in Italy that have seen my face deploying these kind of uh, courses. It was a huge success that caused me a lot of things. And, and, and then uh, uh, one other last thing happened that I completely changed my workflow because artificial intelligence came into the smartphone and came into the applications. And so it's a constant evolution. Uh, but if you have to rebuild your journalistic career, I have only one advice. Look at the horizon. Look far. 
don't don't be uh, condemned to 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 continue the models that you have uh, in your in your journalistic days change the models change the instruments uh, embrace the change embrace the possibility to be a journalist in you know uh, if they tell if, if they tell you to be a journalist uh, writing an article on a wall write an article on a wall consider that uh, the journalistic need for clear information, for clear understanding of the reality, is a need that is exploding. Uh, particularly in this in these uh, days, that uh, understanding the truth is it, a lot more difficult than in the past. And no one more, and no one in a in a good way as a journalist could deploy the one of the central skills. And the central missions of being a journalist, this is to say, be a, a, a social mediator, something that understands what's going on and explains what's going on in a more objective way to all the public that we have. Where is the public? On, on every platform and on every medium that we have in our hands amazing um, um it's, it's it's quite inspiring and amazing story normally we hear that the people from very beginning they start and just grow up and you know you have a very similar as uh, some of the story that you you know started you uh, you know reinvented your career and then it is is something that you know quite remarkable to hear I would like to know that the situation of journalism uh, we uh, in Pakistan, I heard, heard from so many journalists that the journalism is in crisis. Is it the phenomena is just in Pakistan or is it no, in no, your no, country no. or is it is in international? Not at all. Uh, in Italy, it's the same. The media industry is an economic system in fall down, in crack, uh, complete, in crash, uh, complete. Uh, because uh, more or less for two reasons. Uh, I think that in the, uh, the, the, in, in the publisher area, there is no uh, culture about the right business models that you have to deploy to, uh, to uh, gain sustainability to your medium. Uh, uh, and that's a problem because they are continuing to be media as they were in the in the last 15 years 70 years but the the mass media era is dead is finished now the media business has to find out communities little communities niches little niches and uh, to understand that these niches need uh, interaction, need conversation, need to understand, need good content, need quality content. And the only thing that are, uh, they are doing, I am talking about publishers, is cutting the resources, cutting humans, and, uh, and make the substitutions with artificial intelligence, uh, uh, LLM uh, uh, softwares uh, automatization. That's not the way. That that's not the way. There's definite. This is not the way. This is not the way. For the part of the journalists in Italy, is there's a phenomenon in which uh, you have to consider that in the past journalists were well paid and well protected by law and contracts when the media system started to fall down uh, journalists weren't able to do the transition they continued to be journalists as they were journalists in the last 15 years but everything around them changed. The ecosystem changed. The media changed. The internet came in. The social came in. The artificial intelligence came in. And now they are losing month after month, year after year, their uh, rights, their dignity, their possibilities. They are not 
taking the changement, taking the transition and driving it. Uh, I don't know if I'm explaining in a clear way what's going on. And now what do we have? We have a population of freelancers that are paid. I have a data, uh, if you want, 82% of the active freelance in Italy are paid less than 10,000 euros per year. This is to say that in Italy, you don't live with uh, nine, nine, 900 uh, euros per month. You don't live. You don't live. And they are quitting their job. They are doing something else. They are trying to, you know, put uh, together two or three different jobs to to continue to, to, to be journalists. But the system is crashing uh, uh, completely because we are not uh, understanding and uh, we are not protagonists, we are not drivers of the changement. It's something like that uh, we are uh, waiting for the things to evaluate uh, without doing anything. Yeah, it's quite similar in Pakistan and I think it is a world phenomena that technology had changed and we need to change. I would like to know your point of view that, uh, you know, the traditional journalists and what we call that mobile, the mojo mobile journalism. Still, there are so many journalists, even the institutions and the people, they don't want to change. They, they are forced by, to, uh, to, you know, uh, to adopt this technology. They, they should have adopted what you are saying that. Now, what we can learn from this evolution of mobile and what this bring us for something very exciting that they say there are so many people, they are making the change through this digital journalism or this mobile journalism, but this still is there, you know, a reluctancy uh, to adopt these new trends to uh, to uh, enhance their skills and to learn and uh, you know contribute through this mobile journalism um i have to say uh, that mobile journalism has made an evolution it was something pioneeristic in the past i mean six seven eight years ago and uh, it was something that trying was trying to break the models and and uh, understand if uh, it was possible to uh, deliver quality multimedia contents even with uh, the mobile devices then the the pandemic came and the pandemic obliged uh, every uh, journalist and every broadcasting channel and every uh, uh newspaper and every side to consider that working with the smartphone was possible we have seen for the first time uh prime time live shows made with smartphones this is to say that smartphone and bro uh, mobile journalism and broadcasting journalism had a sort of fusion forced by covid forced not natural okay now we have something that is really exciting because from that moment uh, till today smartphone made an evolution in the hardware and in the software that paired absolutely on the technical point of view on the file point of view on the uh, um, uh, quality uh, point of view of colors point of view of color grading of audio and so on paired the broadcasting uh, way to create multimedia content it, they are just the same if you want to do a live uh, multi-camera uh, from uh, a site uh, in 4k you can do with smartphone um, uh, the collectors a uh, prime time show in RTE in Dublin was made with with smartphones. Uh, Fifteen films were made with smartphone. Uh, uh, the last two of uh, Steven Soderbergh and uh, one of the last of Claude Lelouch made with smartphone. The video of uh, Stupid Love uh, uh, of Lady Gaga was made with smartphone. A part of uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon show 
with uh, a live uh, show of Eminem uh, on the Empire State Building, what may, was made with smartphones. Now, we don't have issues about quality and performance, okay? And uh, this has to be clear to everybody. But there's something more. Software became something magic because there are a lot of software, a lot of applications that are putting inside the uh, workflow the help of artificial in intelligence. Resuming text, creating text, creating photos, creating images, editing, uh, overdubbing, uh, uh, lip syncing, uh, translating. Now, in my smartphone, I have, I assure you, I have one application that is called Captions in my iPhone with which I could do this interview with uh, a perfect Pakistan language and also with the lips synced with the pronunciation of, of words in Pakistan. In Pakistanis. Okay? We are at this level. But how do we need more to consider that now we have instruments, hardware and software that gives us the possibility to be a one-man media company? And this is something interesting because, uh, uh, for example, uh, I produce podcasts, okay? Producing podcasts, I have the problem of delivering a file that has to be a quality file. Uh, the, 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 the last podcast that I produced, it was the first podcast that I produced delivering a, a file that was exactly the same file of the most important media company that are that is making podcasts in Italy. Me, all alone with my smartphone. Same file of the biggest media podcast company in Italy. Same file. This is to say that we have great chances. And working in mobility low, lows down the costs and speed up the, the fastness and gives us the chance to have a quality that is spare to the broadcasting quality. What do we need more? And artificial intelligence gives us the possibility to translate my Italian in Pakistani or French and Spanish and create something that to clone my voice what do we need more to consider that is one of the most uh, beautiful, challenging, uh, interesting eras in which you can be a journalist? In order to understand what? In order to understand that mobile content creation, mobile journalism, now are the modern journalism. And... Uh, they give you a lot of more possibilities. Uh, I started, um, I have another application uh, introduced on my workflow recently that is not mobile because it's a platform that you can use uh, with Mac and PCs that is called Descript. Okay. For example, okay, my, my portable computer is something that it's quite mobile okay i can work everywhere i i can i don't need to have an office i don't need to have a, a great storages great computers great stations great mixers i don't need that uh with this uh editing tool called descript uh, i had the chance to code and export the file that i named you before uh, of this podcast um, choosing every every type of uh, characteristic of that file, uh, denoising the file with artificial intelligence, uh, cutting the n, 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 and all the the uh, grasps uh, uh, in the file in one in one in one click, 
and I deliver this kind of file. And when I produce a video, uh, the evolution was that that fit, that way. And when I produced with my personal computer and Premiere, three minutes video where two hours and a half, three hours of my job. Okay. When I started to produce mob in uh, mobility with mobile journalism tools, three minutes video where one hour and a half. When I started to produce with artificial intelligence uh, uh, videos, the uh, tools, three minutes video were 40 minutes. This is to say that I, in the time that I used to produce one video, now I can produce four. Efficiency, productivity. If you're self entrepreneurship, if you are a freelancer, this means gaining more money. I hope I was clear. I love listening to you and your ideas and the way you're explaining it is quite remarkable. Uh, I think uh, I need to conclude this and I would love to learn from more from you and from my journalist community. Uh, I just want you to know, it's, is that the mindset, skill, any intelligence you need now or just to train your mindset to learn these skills and adoptability, what you talk about, and the, these, uh, the, you know, resources we have now in this era through this mobile journalism. You are right. Mobile journalism is a, a matter of mindset. It's a matter of changement. It's a matter of embrace the changement. It's not a matter of technology, because the technology only facilitates you to come back on the center of your job. This is to say, concentrate yourself on the quality of the story. Now that we have artificial intelligence uh, tools, artificial intelligence tools are easier to learn because they uh, stole you a lot of uh, mechanical operations. So if you consider in a way you can consider this this situation in two ways one negative and one positive the negative consideration that you can have is that we will be substituted by machines this could happen only in one way if they we give the permission to do that if uh, the professionality of a journalist comes just a little bit uh, far from the machines because in the past we used to you know uh, put the 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 the, the right and contact and have a co physical contact on the machines now with the artificial intelligence tools we leave the machines execute mechanical or uh, statistical or mathematical operations we verify the operation and we can be free to understand the user experience and the percourse and the project of a journalistic uh, content. Uh, so uh, this is to say that in the future we, we will write less articles, we will edit less video, uh, we will create less images, but we will, we have to remain at the center stage in 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 the situation that we are the the professional who project content project contents. We are the professionals who understand the reality. We are the professional who verifies the the data that the machines will give us. We are the professional that can draw the user experience of contents. Because in the next future, not far from here, we will have to change again our professionality in order to, to create, uh, in collaboration with technical opera operators, listen, virtual reality contents for journalistic purpose. And this will be the moment in which probably you will not write a word. You will not uh, push the, 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 the button of a letter. But you will be 
uh, absolutely important being the figure that uh, made the project of a content and uh, that says what is important and what is not important what's the the reason of uh, the a side and what's the reason of the b side what's black and what's white and where a person that will come inside the virtual reality world has to do his percourse to understand the new probably that we will not write probably we will not film probably we will not take photos but this is not a problem this is not a problem we will have a different role just a little bit more far from the machine we will not have more contact on the machine but we will instruct the machine to deliver the the the, the layouts and the results that we want because we are humans and then machines are not humans we will not be substituted by artificial intelligence we will be substituted by journalists who are able to use the artificial intelligence I'm grateful to you for explaining the in such a nice way and uh, i can say that this is, was the one of very very finest interview for me and i'm glad that i have contributed to the journalist community all over the pakistan and i am thankful to you for you know giving your time and your insight uh, and your uh, uh, you know expert opinion on that on this subject uh, thank you so much and i will definitely would like to you know invite you again and share that you know the common learning and uh, insight what we you know practice in our daily life so once again thank you so much and i'm truly honored and glad to have you thank you so ciao. much ciao, uh, we, to yeah. all the pakistan colleagues thank you so much thank you so much uh, viewers we would like to thank you for watching this uh, interview and online session and we hope that we continue to produce this kind of uh, learning and uh, you know expert and professional wisdom interview for you in future keep supporting us subscribe our channel and share with others so we can you know reach out to the many people and share our opinion ideas and wisdom thank you so much hope you to see you again with very new guests thank you